This week, the world welcomes a milestone baby to power couple Elon Musk and Canadian singer Grimes. Today, what I'm going to do is I am going to look at the family as astrology because this is a perfect way to find how you can best communicate and help become a better person through your talents and treasures. Hi, my name is Kathleen Zemanski. I'm a business feng shui master, business astrologer, and the creator of the Time Blazer business management system. Yes, typically I do business readings, but today I've decided because of, I think it's time for some good news, I was gonna look at the astrology of this power couple. and newborn baby. So before we go there though, what I'd love for you to do is to make sure that you subscribe below. You want to hit that bell for further notifications. Of course, share and like, and that would be an amazing thing for you to do for me today. Okay, so but first let me share my screen so I can show you and get right into those charts. We are in the year of the metal rat and at my annual event this year, I actually talked about Elon Musk because there's something that's very interesting in his chart that would be very much affected by the metal rat. And one of the suggestions that I said that anyone who has a horse in particular in their chart, that this could be a year where we play a different strategy. And so this is where I'm gonna go into just a little bit of theory here for you. So everything I do is based on the five elements. So here they are, wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. There's a production cycle, there's a, a weakening cycle, and then there is a, um, controlling cycle, if you will. So the controlling cycle is going to be very important into the astrological reads that we have this year. So as I said, we're in the year of the metal rat and the animal that would be in conflict, if you will, with the year is the horse. Now, I do not believe that a clash is always a bad thing. I think it is about transformation and really playing your game a little bit differently than you always have, then that way you can control the clash, if you will. But what we have here with the Yang Wood Horse, um, when we were looking at that five element cycle, metal chops wood, that's its job. It's, that's what it's supposed to do so we don't have too much wood. We like to have the, the elements balanced in, in a person's chart, if you will. Now, again, water puts out fire, so when you see it as an animal depiction, it's rat that controls the, the horse. So this is uh, just a little piece of information as we build our knowledge here. Okay, so now when we look at Elon Musk's chart, and this is a date and time of birth that I got off of the internet, so uh, I, I'm sure that at least the year, month, day, and hour are correct. I am not very certain about the time of birth. I don't have strict confirmation on that, but this is public record, and so Again, this is for entertainment purposes is what I really want you to start thinking about. But what I want to start having you relate to these pillars, each one of these, uh, the element on top and the animal on bottom consists of a pillar. So from a business perspective, it's about your networks. It's about market expansion. How far um, are your marketing efforts going to go? And then the month of birth is about your career. And it's also what you're best suited about at doing and your character. And then your day of birth is about you. It's a very, very important pillar. It's about your partnerships, um, specifically your intimate uh, partnerships. And then the hour of birth, which if this is correct, I'm glad that I do know it because this relates to children as well. But from a business perspective, it's about your R&D, your brainstorming and your investments, your life purpose, your legacy that you're going to be leaving. So let's just compartmentalize. This is Elon's chart, and then I'll put them all together in just a moment. I just want to explain them a little bit. Now, a couple of things that I do want to point out uh, about some of the animals in the year of the metal rat, because they all are going to behave a little bit different depending on the year influence. And so what we have here is he was born in the year of the yin metal pig. And so what I can say about the pigs this year, that they're actually very interested in metaphysics this year. And so that's um, very good. And it's also a travel animal. We know his high expectations for 
for occupying Mars. And then the month of birth, um, we have that horse. So there's going to be some big transformation in his career space. Whether he likes it or not, it is going to happen. But he's been doing quite a few things behind the scenes. He just needs to make sure he does it in a little bit different way. Now, the monkey this year in 2020 doesn't have much going for it at all. There's it's in, so this is the relationship palace, if you will. So the, the monkey is really challenged this year. Um, some of the, an, all the other animals have two, three, four, five different positive energies going with, with them this year. The monkey has absolutely zero. So that's a little, little concerning for people who have monkeys in their chart. The rabbits, um, they also have something that's called um, an energy that, that makes them really, really very feisty. Now, how this can play out, which you, you will see in the news um, shortly, I'm going to show you a, a, a clip that, uh, or, or a tweet that Elon Musk put out to reflect what is actually following his astrology. Now, the other thing about the horse is that he is going to be spending a lot of money. Well, you know what, as, as a billionaire, he can, but actually what he's done is he has unloaded some things. And this was actually a good strategy, but astrologically, how does that affect other people? So just have a quick look at one of the tweets he did on May the 1st before the birth of his child, um, selling almost all physical possessions, will own no house. And then a few hours later, same day, he writes, my GF at Grimes is mad at me. So you know, they have a baby coming and, you know, there is, you know, some security in a home and stability in a home, but he has decided to release that. And so there is one thing that is showing up from the horse perspective. That was a good move, but from the relationship child, that might have not been the happiest thing for Grimes to have heard. All right, let's go on to Grimes' chart. We don't know her time of birth. And so what she has in her chart is a dragon, a rabbit, and a goat. Now, overall, the dragon and the goats are actually quite good this year, um, especially if you've got earth and metal in your chart this year and water. We love to see that in the chart as well. All right, now let's go to Baby Musk. And we have, as you can see, a Yang metal rat. Then we have a Yang metal dragon. And then we have another goat, just like his mom. The thing that I wanna tell you about the Yang metal rat and the dragon, these are very, very strong character people. This is strong leadership. So that DNA is certainly um, riding through on the, in, on the child. And so we can see a very strong character. He's going to be quite, um, quite the force to be reckoned with. So um, as, a, as a mother and, and father, I suppose, that's going to be raising this child, they really are going to have to honor that type of energy so he can become the fullest person that he is able to do. Because remember, astrology is about discovering and playing your best talents and really becoming a better person because of it. All right, so let's look at now the family. There's a couple things that I'm gonna show you. Um, the first thing that really stands out is that we have the Yang Wood Horse, Yang Metal Rat Clash. So, and when we look at everyone's chart, everyone has that prevailing energy in 2020 of the Yang Metal Rat. But now we have two Yang Metal Rats clashing on his current, uh, current month in the month that he was born that will always remain the same. Now, when I look at a family or when I'm looking at a personal chart, there's so many things that all of these pillars mean, but I'm just going to give you um, a quick snapshot of what this can mean when you're looking at someone's chart. And you always start with the day of birth of each of the people that you're looking at. And so for the, for the day, it's always the self. But when you go to the year pillar, it's about grandparents and that would hold true of everyone and then the month of pill the month pillar is your parents so when i look at the goat uh at the yin fire goat i also look at what the dragon is to each of these people now 
um, Grimes has a dragon in her chart that can be kind of a forceful energy when they're when they're matched together. And then the goat and the horse, they're actually best friends. So it's really not, um, they're going to get along quite well. I think, I think um, Baby Musk is really going to match his dad's energy. All right, let's take another look at some other combinations. Um, well, we just went over that, the Yang Metal Rat, that's Baby Musk, and then Elon uh, is the horse. So we do have a clash there. But again, clashes are not always bad. It helps people transform. It's our life lessons. It helps us be better. All right, let's look at um, now what's something that's called a three harmony or trine. That's a, another way to look at it. When you start combining some animals together, I'm not going to go into the combination of elements and all of that. I, this is just a quick um, entertainment fun thing to do uh, today, just, just to change it up a little from what's going on in the news. All right, so this is where we have a three harmony. And what we need in a three harmony are three animals that combine together. So truthfully, this is how I look at partnerships when I'm looking at, you know, business partnerships, do they work well together or HR purposes? Well, onboarding a new person into a company, is this something that's really going to be helpful? All right, so what we have here is a monkey, a dragon, and a rat. When you bring all three of these together, you get what's called a three harmony of water. So baby rat had, uh, excuse me, yeah, the um, baby musk has a rat in his chart, and Grimes and the baby have both a dragon, as I showed you on their charts, and eat on the day. So we all now combine together, which that is more harmonious than clashes. It's an easier relationship to get together. Now, water is very deep and is, you know, going with the flow. And if they can learn how to communicate, because that's what water is about as well, is the flow, that would be very helpful for them as well. All right, now we have one other three harmony that I'd like to address today. And that is when you combine the rabbit, the goat, and the pig together, we now bring a little bit more wood into the chart. Now, Elon has a lot of wood in his chart. That's a whole um, another question. And as well as we have a rabbit over in Grimes' chart. So there is, and there's kind of an interesting um, thing about rabbits. We'll leave to another video if you want to hear about that. Just put in the comments you want to hear about rabbits. But anyway, if you um, add these three together, and again, when you combine these three charts, because now the identifying one in the animal in baby musk is the goat. So we don't know the hour of birth. There could be other combinations or clashes that we are unaware of at this moment. But right now, what we know is that there is more wood in the chart. And so more wood in the chart is actually um, a three harmony. And this is about growth and connections. Now, there are some, some reasons why you would want more wood or not more wood or any of the elements, but that kind of goes beyond the scope of what we're talking about today. So we have the month of birth with um, Grimes and Elon's hour. They both have a rabbit and then um, Grimes and the baby have in their day the goat, which is a really nice simpatico because they really kind of understand each other how they tick, even though the elements above is a little bit different. And Elon has the pig in his chart. So that creates the three harmony. It looks as though Elon and Grimes also are in the know about the Chinese astrology because baby Grimes actually has part of his name encoded with the metal rat. Congratulations to both of them. I wish them many years of happiness and joy. And that little guy is going to be someone we're going to be watching as he grows up. Okay, again, if you would like to hear more content like this, please subscribe below. You can leave some comments, like, and please share. Hit that bell for notifications for new content that comes out. And I would also like to let you know in the comments below, we are also going to add on a couple of the pieces from my annual event. So I'll upload the horse and the metal rat. And they're just little videos about each of those animals. You can also download your free astrology chart at www.freebusinessastrology.com and then just see what you have to look forward to this year of the metal rat.